Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and today's video we've got something different here. We're about to start our second series here on the channel um, and that will be a custom Australian database and we're just going to be playing with teams all throughout. I've just done a six year simulation here, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, no, a seven year simulation. I've just taken a little bit of a look, I haven't seen everything yet. But I tell you this, it, it's been incredible to see everything. So we've done a seven year challenge, or well, seven year simulation, and I'll show you guys what has happened in this seven years. And um, I'll talk about what the series is at the beginning of the next, this new series coming out. But I've just simmed it to see how it is going, to see everything like that. And it's looking pretty decent. So let's go ahead. Let's go straight into this, and um, we're going to go straight into the Australia. And as we see here, the Australian Premier League. So we've got Australian Premier League, we've got the Australian Championship, Australian League One, Australian League Two, Australian National Premier League, the Australian National First League, the, uh, la, 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 the Australian National Lower League, the Australian Community League, League and the Australian Community League Two. And um, <clears throat> if you see down here, Australia has been on the rise, but had a little dip. They've gone back on the rise, and now they're kind of going back into fall, falling there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much them. As you see, Western United is the best team in Australia now. You see, most of the teams are still there, but Western United are the best team, and they are certainly are the best team. We take a look at the Australian Premier League. Um, uh, and let's go to the past winners. Western United have finished in the top three every single season in the Premier League. Starting off with back-to-back -to -back premierships, went down to third for two seasons, went back up to beat it, went back down to third, second, and well, if we take a look at the preview here, they are predicted to come seventh in this one um but if we take a look at everything here and let's go all the way back to the beginning of the season most of you know i did come first with melbourne victory and perth glory coming in third spot and the way this works here is to get relegated actually rules um quickly i'm just going to go through this to get relegated and there's a relegation playoff. Um, and then there's the prize money. Everyone gets prize money. Um, they play 30 games. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, there's obviously wage rules. Yeah, six foreign. So obviously most of the is gone it's pretty much normal football now not your normal australian league we'll take a look at the structure obviously the stadiums we'll take a quick look such the scuns for uh, melbourne haven't the both melbourne teams haven't made a new stadium western sydney wanderers have not made a new stadium um north queensland fury fury they were a team back in the day they got wrecked and I will say this right now, this is the team we'd be doing in our first rebuild. I'm going to call it like a rebuild, kind of. Um, no, I've got rebuild or coming back from the dead. And I think coming back from the dead, I really like. So they started in the championship, they came seventh, they came sixth, and they've moved up to first, and then tenth, eighth, eighth, fourteenth. So they've just survived this one, uh, but there's no new stadiums it looks like. Um, if we look at stages again, so if we keep on going through, Central Coast and Newcastle got beaten by South Melbourne. Interesting. And Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide and Newcastle would have gone into that relegation playoff. And if we take a look at the relegation playoff, Newcastle did beat Adelaide City, Brisbane Strikers got beat by Sydney United and Adelaide won and that means Brisbane went relegation down. Uh, MacArthur, who is a new A-League team um, coming in, 
this is their first ever season. They have no one in their team, but I put it on. Um, I put it on a uh, what is it? What is it? I put it on um, field players um, because most of these teams don't have players, so they have field players. But yeah, it didn't look like they had a good start to the. They came sixteenth, fourteenth, and then went down. All well, while they've just crumbled and they're in League One right now. So A League team down the bottom a little bit there. So we came in. Oakley Cannons and Port Melbourne look like they were the promotion winners and Heidberg were the promotion. Heidberg survived. Newcastle Jets are down in the relegation against South Melbourne. Um, but if we take a look here, I've also took took out Wellington Phoenix. Um, if we take a look here, 10 teams. So Newcastle Jets were the only team to get beaten by a outsider. And if we take a look here... Adelaide City, okay, they did make it, so that's something. Okay, obviously Western United won that again. Go on to the next one, Melbourne victory, Melbourne City, and Western United, the three big Melbourne teams taking the top spots. Newcastle Jets, Brisbane Raw, Sydney. Newcastle Jets in fourth, they improved there, but no outsiders beat anyone in this one. And Sydney Olympic got relegated from coming 12th. And they were far away from that relegation spot, though. South Melbourne got relegated after the fantastic season. They cannot stay up, mainly. Um, let's go ahead to the next season. Sydney, Melbourne. Heidberg in fifth. Okay, then. Heidberg's in fifth. Newcastle Jets and Central Coast Mariners get relegated. Holy moly. Are they still in there? Newcastle Jets are still in they are still in the championship. They got back up, but they went back down and they could not get out the second time running. Central Coast are in the A League. They went back up and they are strong. It's best, well, they've been stronger than before. But Melbourne Knights getting that relegation. North Coast and Fury are obviously in there. One more season. Western, Bentley Greens, Sydney United putting in the big yards. And Heimberg getting down to that bottom. Perth Glory getting relegated. Are they still in the A League? Yes, and they're back to their normal ways. Another season go past. We see Newcastle Jets obviously get relegated. And Brisbane Raw, and they're back in the A League. And Heimberg comes fourth. Brisbane Strikers. We're starting to see some change, which I am loving. And we see Brisbane Strikers. Popping up in there. Blacktown City. I don't know where they started from. They started from the League One and had a good time and just cannot find a way out. And that is it. So currently we've got South Hobart who's making their debut. Yes, they will be making their debut. Um, who else? Wollongong Wolves. they be making their debut in the competition. And I think that is everyone. So, what does the season preview look like? We've got Melbourne, Sydney, Mel Melbourne again, Western, Adelaide. It looks like Brisbane Raw promoted there. They're in 10th, possibly, but Brisbane Strikers. I did make a Brisbane derby and a striker derby. I don't know if they played the... Strikers W because Western Strikers where they been a national first. I don't think, but the Brisbane Derby is probably a big, big one here. They've got icons, they've got Danzo. Who's Danzo? He's still at the club. Ball for 84k from Levante. Okay, interesting. We will see everything. Uh, their manager, Owen Baker, he got sacked. Wow, what a stint. What a stint. Te over 10 years. Sacked. He got sacked. Um, but what is probably the biggest achievers? Brisbane Strikers, I reckon they were one of the biggest achievers in here. Let's take a look at their managers. So Owen, 10 years, almost got 11, and Natty. 
there, but let's take a look. You've got 48 win percentage uh, there. Um, let's take a look at their players quickly. Let's just have a good read through. They've got no one foreign. Does anyone have foreigners? Yeah, but from Australia, Australia, New Zealand. Okay, they've got a New Zealand. Cypress, but he's from Australia. Big squads. Might need to fix that up, possibly. Can no one bring foreigners in? I might need to take out the work permit rules. It looks like no one is able to get a foreigner in. Okay, but let's take a look at... Obviously, let's take a look at the Western United squad. If we take a look at that best... 11. They've got Mac Eve, uh, Mac Evely. He's came from Cumberland United on a free. Great pickup. They've got Michael Ross down here. Where's he from? Melbourne Knights at 1.3k. Melbourne City have been spending money. Uh, if I can try to find. Let's take a look at Wollongong Wolves. So, okay, we need to focus. But, so, Wollongong Wolves. Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at their history. So their debut season in the Premier League, they bought Todd Norris on a youth contract from Heidelberg, a 6.75k transfer. Lucas Miller from Blacktown City. And he's been all over the place from Manly. Bought kit from Campbelltown, 400k, 250k. He's just gone down in value. And now he somehow found himself in the Premier League. Ryan Lamberton. He started from Central Coast. St. George loaned him out. Did nothing there. Central Coast again played him in A-League for a couple of bits. Then played in the NPL side. And then boom, into Bankstown. Played some games in League 1. Couldn't do anything there. Liam Zoida from Olympic FC looks terrible from this angle um, and they got in from Canberra United how has Canberra United gone this should be somewhere Daniel Leck a real player that would have been a decent pick up let's see how he's gone so he started from Brisbane went to Pascal Val went to South Melbourne and then he's just been adventuring around 88k down to 10k to down to 2.8k but yeah he's been adventuring uh, they've got some players out. Christopher Zuvula, Sevilla. He started from Sydney FC. So what has happened to him? Blacktown has loaned him out. Australia, well Sydney, Manly United, Sydney, and he's just been going around since then. Not too good for him. Kane Higgins for free. He's gone. If we keep on taking a look, the biggest one was Stephen Papa. Australian. He went to Morton Bay, who's in the championship, and he's been, yeah, pretty much all over the place. If we take a look, let's go to the Under 21s Cup competition. Nothing's happened in that. Okay. Um, groups. If we take a look, here, this is not going to be really anything. Let's take a look at the best youth under 21 group. See who has been smashing it here. MacArthur's been in there. If we take a look at their past winners here. Melbourne City, it's just been A League teams all the way, but Brisbane Strike is popping up last year. So is Bentley Greens under 21s. Brisbane Strikers and Hellenberg United and Bentley Greens have really good youth. They've got a couple of people in Australian division, an Australian national team. And they could possibly, if we take a look at this dude here, he's the point about Parramatta. But yeah, they, they're looking very good, the Brisbane Strikers. Uh, let's go to the reserves now. Let's take a look who's in the best reserves. And oh my god, Western United. But we had a couple of. And outsiders here, look at this, outsiders everywhere. Sydney United has really good reserves. 
but they are going into the Australian Cup. This is like a League Cup, but it's, it's, no, it's another FA Cup, pretty much. But we take a look: Western Wanderers, Melbourne City, Western Wanderers, Melbourne City, Central Coast, Central Coast, Western Sydney, North Queensland, Furry. Christmas Strikers also came in: Cross Harbour International, Canberra. Pretty decent there, but look at that. North North Queensland. Can we find any? FFA Cup. Sydney United have won. Actually, they've done it. It's good to see some of these teams competing. If we take a look at their overview, they've got their own trophy, the FFA Cup, and they've still got their two trophies from back back when. But they got, firstly, they've just got relegated as well. Sydney United. After that... FA Cup win just a couple of years ago. Bentley Greens popping in there. Another Cross Harbour. Knight Stadium. Witten Oval. Witten Oval again. Let's take a look at the Doherty Cup. This is, I think, underneath the League 2. And we take a look here. Fremantle. Fremantle United. Ipswich City. No one's won it two times, interestingly. But North Caulfield and Kyvy could have done it. So could Ipswich. A couple of teams could have done it. And we go into the Australian National Football League Cup. And this one is like the bottom of the community. I'm pretty sure that's the community one. And the Football League, Blacktown Spartans. Doing it there. Nicely done. And if we take a look at the community league. Let's take a look who is the worst team out of this one. Quickly. Uh, we've got... All the way to... So, Tweed United... Just got, just couldn't do it there. And then we got Mackay, Tweed came second last. Tweed improving, but now we got Belmore. Lovely to see. Boomers FC coming down in the bottom there. Tweed United falling back down. Mackay. Mackay. Darwin. So Mackay looking like the worst team possibly. If we take a look at their history, they've been born. The highest position has been 10 and they've just been not really kicking on, haven't they? Mackay Magpies. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be this episode quickly. Um, if we actually just go to the Melbourne City Quickly, I want to just take a look at the history. But just take a look at that quickly. The lower season is in six, and that's the way. And then they've got we all the way up. Um, if we take a look at the transfer history, obviously, they have got someone on loan. They sold someone for 275k. They sold 140k to Blackburn. Okay. I really want to see if there's any, like, international. Where's Fuja? United Abbott. Okay, so they sold one person currently. Have they got anyone from overseas? No one, but they've got spending money. They are. Overseas. No, overseas here. Our Flatter, Tampa Bay. From the United States. Harrison Dillbridge. Coming back to the club, Olympia Warriors, no the championship. Um, let's keep on taking a look here. Brisbane, French transfer. Let's take a look here. 1.2 million, Scott Reed. Okay, someone went to Orlando. Back to United Abra. Another UAE. Okay, some people are moving overseas, but not as much. Okay, Butcher. Jamie McLaren went over. We're seeing quite a bit of international movement here. Yeah, bit of international movement there. Keep on looking. Pedabra. There. 
That looks to be it. Oh, actually, we've got someone here. A flight to call D -Z -Z -Z. He's in your UAE now from Melbourne City. He came from Portugal. And he's Australian. Interesting. 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 Um. Yeah, but that that is going to be this episode. Someone went to Sheffield Wednesday though. Yeah, that will be this episode. And I will start to get the next episode up and running. The 2022-23 season was our biggest spending here. So what did they do? 1.6 or 1.3 or 1.4? Holy moly. Uh, but yeah, that will be it for this episode. Let's go. Oh god. They have 5,000 finances, 11 million. So the money isn't that big, which is nice, it's a little bit big, but it's okay. Obviously we need to get that international thing out. I need to fix up the transfers as well, I think, a bit. If we take a look, okay, let's take a look at Western United quickly, see their finances. 14 million. Take a look at Wollongong Wolves. How much do they have? They have, they are going bankrupt it seems. Let's take a look at someone in League 1. I want to see if our money is decent. Yeah, okay, some teams are surviving. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's quickly take a look at the ASC Champions League, see if we want it. Take a look here, anyone with a team? Does not look like it, I think. No, no one has. Uh, Confederation Cup? Melbourne Victory, oh, Melbourne Victory. Could have done it. But okay. Um, so that will be it for this episode as I go into this investigate here quickly because I'm really interested. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy this one, hopefully you did, go ahead and hit the like button because we're about to start our, our one really, really, really soon. Um, I'll, I'll try to get on it straight away, actually, if I have enough time. Oh, they walk us currently happening. But yeah, I'll try to do it as soon as I can, and I'll get back to... Uh, and the first episode should be coming up pretty, pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's been this episode, guys. Thank you so much for you watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.